these are the stage directions that were read in an earlier clip pertaining to the time and the architecture of the building involved and they give us an image of the building that can be approximately if not exactly seen in this picture the stage directions also describe the character of Emily there is only one character Emily she wears the sarong kebaya of a modern nyonya as you can see in the picture for the other items mentioned in the stage directions let us take a closer look in addition to the sarong kebaya she has a jade bangle brooches we can see a few brooches functioning as buttons or button brooches here ear starts we can see the one on her right ear here and her hair is in a bun it is indicated later on page 299 that all characters except emily are unseen and known to us only through her mime this not only tells us about the character of emily in relation to the play as a whole but it also tells us about the narration in the play emily is not only the main character of the play but she is the narrator of the whole play her voice is the only voice we directly hear throughout the play i did mention stage directions concerning lighting earlier that con gives clear indications on how the stage has to be lit on page 301 for example she indicates that the stage lights are dimmed but that there is a brighter area stage right with small spots emphasizing the family portraits on page 321 she gives the direction to light up the stage in the earlier clip I associated Khan's instruction on the use of lighting to draw attention to what is happening on stage to modernity. In a sense, this is true of Khan's dramaturgy as she appears to aspire towards fuller control of what is happening on stage. I have also noted that Kuo, by appearing to follow a more ancient dramatic tradition, does paradoxically appear to be postmodern in his attempt to relinquish control over, over what will be happening on stage during production.